Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 7. Let's go ahead and spend some skill points. As much as I would like to go into intellect this morning, I'm actually going to go into mother load level 1. That will help us when gathering resources and I'm also going to go into the brawler level 2 which is going to allow us to craft quality 3 knuckle weapons and do more damage with our fists as well. And now I'm going to craft these level 3 iron knuckles, which have got to be better than these piece of shit leather wraps. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Let me put these supplies away here. Got all this stuff we're going to sell to the trader, which we are headed there now. And check this out. Snowberries. They give us one food and nothing else, which means they don't make us sick. What the fuck? Why didn't anyone tell me that shit? We got all this food surrounding us. Actually, a couple of you did tell me that shit on social media. And, uh, kind of blew my mind a little bit. I, you know, I thought about snowberries in the beginning, but I'm like, ah, nah, if we eat too many of them, they make us sick. They'll give us dysentery. I'm not even gonna fuck with them. Oh, that's not snowberries. That's wood. But, yeah, I guess they changed that at some point. You can eat as many of those as you want. And they do not make you sick. And you can't get seeds from them either. So you can't grow snowberries. They're just out and about in the world. And you could pick them and eat them. Which we could have been doing this whole damn time. So we're going to keep an eye out for snowberries on our journey over to see Joel. And we're going to sell Joel all this stuff. Check his inventory because his inventory restocks today. And then we'll probably do a job for him as well. Here we go. Bam. Bam. Ah, of course, they're too close to Joel's. I was so pumped about the snowberries, we hardly found any on our walk over here. That's alright, though. Listen, snowberries aren't gonna make us or break us. They're just gonna help us along as we struggle to get our farm up and running. Oh, a can of pasta. Now, listen. A lot of debate on this here, but it says ravioli and sauce, okay? If it said ravioli and gravy, then it would mean there was meat in the sauce, but it doesn't. It's ravioli and tomato sauce. And you know what ravioli is stuffed with? Cheese. Take it from me. My grandparents came from Italy. I've eaten a lot of ravioli in my life. You know what it was stuffed with every single time? Cheese. So unless you're some uncultured swine eating fucking Chef Boyardee, that's what ravioli is stuffed with. I'm, I'm fucking with you. No, seriously. Uh, it should say beef ravioli if it was stuffed with meat. Because usually it's stuffed with cheese. That's what it, that's what it is. So I don't want to hear any more about ravioli stuffed with meat, you motherfuckers. All right, a couple things he wouldn't buy. Not a big deal. Let's see what he's got here. Cement mixer, 5,000 coin. We can craft our own. He's got 9 millimeter. Can we even afford all of this? No, we can't. I'll buy what we can afford. Let me just see what else he has. Um, should probably check his food. That's it for his main stash. Let's see. Uh, nothing we can use. Let's check his secret stash. Lucky looter. Find more ammo in loot. I think that's a good investment. Let's grab that. Mini bike. 12,000 coin. We really can't afford that. All right, let's just buy some 9mm then. I'm not going to buy all we can afford. Let's just do, I don't know, 100 rounds. Yeah, that'll leave us with a bit of coin left over we can save for another day. Let's read you this Lucky Looter time. book. And let's take a job, granted he has one close by. And he's got a buried supplies. That's close. A couple of them, actually. I've let's just, just do this one. Cool. Thank you we'll head on over there because I there's food items in the buried supplies quest. So hopefully there's some food we can use. And we can look for snowberries on our walk over. Oh yeah, these are much better than the leather wraps, plus we're doing more damage because we put another point in Brawler. I'm definitely looking forward 
to getting some steel knuckles, though, and maxing out Brawler. Then it's going to be some real fun times. Oh, shit, look at this. We got a little garden. What POI is this? I don't recognize it. Look at this jackpot we just hit. Holy shit, look how many potato plants. Oh my god, thank you. I'm gonna raid your garden now. Kenny, listen. I ain't got time for your fucking shit this morning. Yeah, those are iron knuckles, bitch. Man, what a score. Let's see, how many potato seeds can we make? Four. Let's make a corn seed also. I know I'm wasting inventory space doing this, but I don't care. Two blueberry seeds. All right, I would love to get home and plant all this shit, but the problem is we don't have enough rotten flesh to make more farm plots. That's what we are lacking right now. It's like, honestly, I wouldn't even mind a pack of zombie dogs just so we can get the rotten flesh we need. All right, here we go. Shit, that was a lot of work. Let me just let my stamina bounce back a little bit, because we're going to have some zombies to fight. Ah, not even any food we can eat. How do you like that? I better at least get a decent reward. Man, this would be a nice POI to call home, huh? It's already got a gate surrounding it. Reminds me of the prison, kinda. Now, I remember seeing this POI before, but I can't remember what it's like inside. I'm gonna throw a quick waypoint here, because I definitely want to come back and raid it. If not today, then another day. I think I might end up just getting my reward from Joel and heading back to our town. This walking around shit is for the birds, though, man. We need a vehicle. We need a vehicle soon. I probably should have put those two skill points this morning into intellect so we can open up advanced engineering and build our own workbench and go ahead and craft our bicycle. Because looking around for a workbench in this world is not working out. So that's probably what I'm going to start working towards now with all the skill points we earn moving forward. What do you got for me, Joel? Now we're Five first aid bandages or 20 pipe bombs. I'm definitely going for the pipe bombs. It's going to be fun throwing those down in the pit. Ooh, 20% bartering. That's like the ultimate sugar butts. We'll use that when we have more stuff to sell. Isn't there a road down here that runs to our town? Yeah. Let's head down there and take the road home. Maybe we'll get lucky, find some more rotten flesh. Well, none right here, but I am going to raid this little campground. Should be quick and painless. Oh, that sounds like a crawler. No big deal. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh, there goes your arm. You going to one-arm crawl it? Man, you're a trooper. Nice if there was a dog in here. Nope, just another zombie. Oh, hey, buddy. Wake up call. Oh, shit. I blew him right out of the watchtower. That was epic. All right, I'll scrap the level 5 axe, and I will replace our level 4 stone shovel with this level 5. I think we are just about done here. Oh, I missed that gasoline. There you go. All right, then. Let's continue on down the road, hopefully find some more rotten flesh. We'll make our way back home. We'll drop some stuff off. 
I did pick up some rotten flesh, so I think we can make at least one, maybe two farm plots as of now. So we'll get some seeds planted, and then we'll head back out and see what else we can find. Maybe we'll just cruise down to the desert, walk around out there, hopefully attract some birds. We can get rotten flesh that way, and we can get some yucca while we're out there. And just in case anybody's wondering, you can no longer get rotten flesh from zombie bodies anymore. You can stab them all you want, it's not gonna get you shit. What was that? Was that you? Did he just make that sound? Anyway, like I said, you can stab them all day long. Ain't gonna get you shit. I guess they figured that'd be too easy. This guy's making sounds and shit. Yeah, there's no other zombies around. It had to be him. That's funny. I guess you do get something when you stab dead zombies. You get them to gurgle. What do we got over here? Broken down wagon. And uh, it looks like we got a hidden crate underneath all this damn hay. Oh, shotgun messiah crate. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna scrap the club. I will take that ammo, though. And I'll take the bones from this skull. And can you take this thing apart? Nope, you gotta break it apart with the axe. You get some mechanical parts from it. What up, lady? All right, home sweet home. Let's see what we got here. I know I got some rotten flesh in storage. Here it is. Uh, we also need nitrate powder. And I've got the clay soil on me. And I believe that's all we need. Yep. We could make two of these right now. Better than nothing. We'll get some seeds planted. And just in case anyone was wondering, you don't have to bury these farm plots. I do it just because I like the way it looks at ground level. You, you don't have to, though. Our very first pumpkin harvest. That's not bad. What can we make from these? A jack-o'-lantern, which isn't going to really help us out. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin bread, which requires cornmeal. We can totally make that. The cheesecake requires animal fat and eggs, though. And so does the pumpkin pie. So those two things are out. But hey, I'll make some pumpkin bread. That sounds good. I don't remember where the main stash is here. It might be up on the top floor of Easy Sofas. I don't remember, and it's a bit too late in the day to be messing with this POI. Maybe another day. I do know how to get to the main stash of the pawn shop real quick, though. That's something we can do. I already looted all this trash out here. Oh, maybe not this. Nothing. Uh, let's go around back. Let me grab these snowberries first. Bam. And we gotta bust in through the back wall. Some nails I'll scrap for the iron. And the main stash is right there. This POI wants you to go up and uh, onto the roof first and, and then down through the building. But if you just come to the uh, garage door in the back here, break through it, the main loot is right there. Oh, look at that. Iron pickaxe. That's going to help. It's going to help us right now. We'll use that to bust through this wall. Oh, one shot at his ass. Hey, what are you doing over at the door? Come to this window. Yeah, this makes it much easier for me to kill you. Wooden bow schematic. That's not bad. I don't remember if we have any bow parts back at home. I'll have to check. Uh, I can scrap that beef. Hey, that's not bad either. I'll take it. We could scrap that wooden bow, though. Don't need that. Let me scrap that stone axe and check this out. Someone actually told me in the last episode that you can put a weighted head mod on your knuckles. And you can. That is sick. Alright. Weighted head mod in the iron knuckles. That's gonna be fun. And we have uh, one lockpick. 
Let's see if we're, uh, skilled enough to crack into this gun safe with it. Holy shit, we actually did it! I was not feeling very confident about that. Um, what is that, Bunker Buster mod? Yeah, you do more damage against stone, I might as well put that in the iron pickaxe. Alright, what else we got in here? Oh, shit! <laughs> I hit the repair button. I went to do a heavy attack with the stone axe, and there's no such thing as a heavy attack with the stone axe. Let's see, you think we can do it again? I mean, this safe's gotta be easier to pick than the big-ass gun safe, right? But the lock pick could be weaker now, because we picked the gun safe. Look at this shit. We're gonna do it. Unbelievable. Bam! What the fuck? Why even put points in the lock picking? It's like I'm a born thief. I guess it's just, you know, that's what happens when you're born in New Jersey. You automatically get points into lock picking. Hey, Beaker. That's good. We're going to need one of those to craft our own chem station when the time comes. All right. I don't want to go too crazy in this place because I want to get to the desert before it gets too late. Now, I guess it would help if I used my knuckles. I'm over here bare knuckle boxing this chick. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, got some honey right there. I'm gonna hold on to it, though. Because of the snow berries and because we got all this yucca right here. No reason to eat that. I'd rather hold on to it in case we need it for uh, a small infection. Well, I haven't seen any birds yet. Let's get up over this hill and see what we can see. I see a road. That's about it, though. Where are all the damn birds? Alright, let's head down here, then. We'll see where this road goes. And I know it's getting late. And we're venturing a bit far from home, and that could be dangerous, especially when you don't have a vehicle, but... Hey, no guts, no glory hole. That's what I always say. Out, you little bastard. Got a coyote right here. I guess we're gonna go, uh, to the south, then. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go this way. Not gonna mess with that coyote if I don't have to. Got a little garage right here. The road continues on, but I'm gonna stop and check this place out. And then we might have to start heading back home. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Stripper's just fallen from the ceiling. She landed on her feet, too. That's from years of practice. Ah, here we go. Got a little weapons bag up here. Alright, some shotgun shells and shotgun chokes. I'll take it. And, uh, we should probably start heading back home now. Haven't seen any birds, unfortunately. Kind of bullshit. Oh, hey, speak of the goddamn devil. Let's get up here. It's pretty high up in the sky, but from this rooftop, it should want to swoop down on us. Come on. Now it's just fucking with me. Damn it! If I had a pistol, that would work. This is unbelievable, isn't it? I'm actually trying to get a bird to attack me, and I can't. Oh, look, we got a little town over here. Alright, um, where is this thing? Ah, here we go. Let's, uh, oh, look, another one. Let's climb this mountain here. This is the way back home anyway. So I'm thinking as we climb this mountain, they'll either attack us or we'll get high enough to where we can shoot one of them. 
You know, we picked up some arrows. I could craft a bow. That's got a bit more range than the blunderbuss. Harder to hit, but if we can just tag one of these things, it'll piss it off and that will force it to kind of dive down on us. Oh yeah, good luck with this though. Well, king of the mountain. Now where the hell are the damn birds at? Here's one. Yes. I don't know where the other one went though. Well, that's not a town we want to walk to, but once we get a vehicle, we'll definitely want to check that out. So I'm going to throw a waypoint right about here and just write town so we don't forget. All right. Um, hopefully there's a way down from here. I don't think it just drops off. Shit, maybe it does. Oh, here we go. We can get down this way. And it is just about night, so uh, any zombies we encounter are going to be runners, but not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. Let's get home. We got some loot to put away and organize, and we'll get some work done to the base. And uh, if we can level up a couple of more times, we can go into intellect. This way, in the next episode, we can go into advanced engineering, put down a workbench, and get a bicycle crafted. And finally be done with all this walking bullshit. Now that's a muzzle brake. That's not a shotgun choke. I can't put that on the blunderbuss. No oh, shit. Yeah, bitch. Let's get reloaded here. You know, part of me is thinking that we just get on top of this cabin over here and stay the night there. And hope to see more birds. But that's probably a stupid idea. Time wasted. That could be spent working on the base. Come on, buddy. Oh, shit. He's feral. Down he goes. Dead. And we got another one. Shit. Oh, the other one's not loaded. Back. Oh. Come here, Kenny. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, that was fun. Not really. It was kind of worth it, though. We got a good amount of yucca. We killed one bird. Found ourselves a town out in the distance. Kind of sucked. I just feel like we could have got so much more done today if we had a vehicle. And that's why that is exactly what we're working towards now. Hey, what's up, Pumbaa? How'd your day go? You just stand there doing nothing? You got the life, man, I'm telling you. All right, let's dig down. We should start in the middle here with this column so we can add support to it. It shouldn't collapse because we got enough support around it. So we'll just go down like this underneath it. And then throw in a flagstone block and do that again. There we go. All right. Let me upgrade both of these. And that should be good. That's probably where I'll put the floor in. That'll be what? Five blocks deep? I think that's deep enough for the pit. So let me uh, get this work done here. We'll pick things up in the morning. Hopefully I can level up at least a couple of times tonight. We can put those two points into intellect. And then we'll need... Two more points, actually. Shit, we need to put one point into advanced engineering so we can unlock the workbench, and we need to also unlock the bicycle. So hopefully we can pull that off in the next episode and get ourselves a vehicle. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.